This is Jam with Mark Tech Post. We're here with Yotam Tensor Leap. Very excited to talk with you. Yeah. We're at CVPR 2025. Tell us about the problem that you solve. All right. Tensor Leap is an uh, explainability platform that uh, helps data scientists understand where the model be misbehave and why. So basically, we are tracking after all the millions of neurons within the neural networks. We're measuring entropy and mutual information, and we fully understand the reasoning behind their strange behaviors of models. So when you deploy a model into production and it starts to misclassify, misdetect different stuff, we have a full understanding of why those models make those decisions, and we can assist in the process of, of figuring out uh, how to fix those problems. Super exciting. It's, yeah. a big, it's a big, big problem. Now, okay, you say every model can it handle CNMs, LLMs, VLMs, diffusion, like, like the, what can it cover? Basically any model. So TensorLeap is uh, reconstructing the computational graph of those neural networks, and it's fully understand from each operation those models are constructed from, whether it's transformers, convolutional neural networks, recurrent neural networks. We are adjusting our explainability engine into those specific models, and then we know how to calculate each one of those uh, indicators or how to generate those silency map that shows us where the model focused when it made those specific decisions. So we have customers that's running on uh, NLP, natural language processing, time series, multimodality of video and 3D all together. Lots of mess there. Yeah. Okay, so there's a, other companies going after explainability, trying to solve that problem. It's a big problem, it's a big market. Yeah. Why are you better than the rest? So currently uh, we are the only company I'm familiar with that taking the model as it is, reconstructing it and, and tracking after all those activations. Usually other companies, what they do, they're requesting the customer to extract a very specific set of activation from the model, and then they're using those activation in order to find differences. What TensorLeap yeah. does, we're extracting hundreds of different embedding spaces. We're taking those ones that, I, that has high mutual information with specific characteristics. We know how to relate specific neuron activation to specific kind of patterns of vegetation and tell the customers on vegetation tending to fail and then all the adjustment for the next steps are, is adjust to the customer model needs. So you know, you might compare us to, to explainability companies, but you as well can compare us to data sets curation companies since big chunk of our customers, the main value they get is to understand on which data they should they should uh, focus their labeling efforts. Now, relative to them, what TensorLeap does is not only you know, finding a good and interesting distribution of reality, we're finding the good and interesting distribution that their model actually need now to fix the most important issues they have. So we won't just recommend labeling that you know, represent well different distribution, we find the mistakes, we find areas that the model suffer from ambiguity, we find areas that the model overfits or specific features, and we'll find the specific samples that can help the model to generalize this information. And who are the users or your ideal clients that really just get the most out of this platform? So, you know, when you look on different, uh, the, the, the various markets, you have those companies that just cannot afford themselves to have mistakes in production. You cannot send people to chemotherapy without any reason. You, can, you cannot mistake in the healthcare, you cannot have mistakes in autonomous vehicles. So all those critical, mission critical kind of uh, markets are the companies that need us the most. They can benefit from TensorLeap the most. We can find all those small cases of failures. We can characterize them in seconds and track up to hundred or thousands of different small scenarios uh, they need to, to perform okay. well on. Okay, very impressive. What's, what's coming up next? What are the next upcoming features? So we're just about to release a new product, which is production monitoring. Customers installing our product instead of the development system in production. That's what we're currently training different models on top of uh, the customer model and learning from the activation where are those models tending to fail? In real time, we're letting them know that your model just started to degrade it. You've just got a new data shift in your production environment that make the model to severely perform less than, than it used to be uh, with the full insights and explainability in real time for different environments. 
So, by the way, that could also be very interesting for uh, industries that have high compliance. Yeah. Right. So, finance, healthcare, you mentioned, and others, right? Uh, and doing that. And when are you launching this? Well, we already have a few design partners for the new product for the production monitoring that already integrated those uh, this product into the production. Uh, we start to see some winnings. I guess that for the wide customers back uh, in uh, two quarters. Okay, and some some of the users have their solutions that are running on GCP, AWS, other clouds. How do they integrate with your with your platform? So unsurprisingly, most of our customers work in locally because their data is the most important data and their IP is so unique. Uh, so they're just installing it locally with one liner. It's a Kubernetes cluster, massive Kubernetes cluster with different kind of databases encapsulated within one Docker. In other cases where we need to uh, orchestrate a huge system, Helm install, they it's distributed within their data center and orchestrate tens of servers across it. And those ones that want to enjoy, you know, our DevOps engineers, we have our own SaaS environment, they can just sus subscribe and start working. Okay, so very easy, okay. Kubernetes, yeah. perfect. Anything else you want to add? Well, you were, uh, it was a great interview. Thank you Thanks so much. Take care of your time. Thank you.